for you right now. Welcome back to Daybreak. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. The Department of Health and Human Services has some fairly daunting figures, saying about 19 children are victimized in every 1,000 children in the state of Indiana. Marlene Demings uh, writes for Indie Moms blog. She is a mom, she's an educator, knows the topic well, and is here this morning to give us some thoughts. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here today. Difficult topic, but a crucially important one. I, I do want to note you're wearing blue today. Definitely. That's, that's emblematic of the month. Yes, um, Blue Ribbon Campaign um, is a part of the National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Um, uh, as a teacher, you know, one of the things that we've talked about for a long time is who's obligated to report even the suspicion of abuse. Indiana's interesting, more so than most other states. It essentially means everybody, everybody. is a mandatory reporter. But, but as somebody who has contact with the kiddos and may see upsetting things, what signs do you look for? What signs should folks think about? Um, all types of abuse, just a child who's had any significant change in their behavior, mm. um, just kind of extreme behavior. If you get to know your children, then you know when they're being a little different. So, so you start with behavioral changes. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody who may not be thinking about it may only be looking for physical changes. Right. Uh, and I pr presume those are part of it as well. But that's a really interesting idea that the kid may be showing you with their own behavior if something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about what, what that, that's like and, and, and the dis distinction between those two. Um, definitely, you know, your obvious physical abuse signs, um, bruises, marks, especially if there's a pattern, maybe every other weekend, you think, okay, custody-wise. Um, also, just any type of different behavior that right. you may see. Uh, you also have the opportunity to talk with parents, and in many cases, parents who may be going through some stuff that it's their first time of it as well. To, to have children who are abused, mm -hmm. you have to pee pee see people who have become abusers. And, and you have some thoughts about how you can head that off if you're a parent who's in crisis. Right. Um, one thing, as far as sexual abuse goes, people may not think of this, but a child who has been previously potty trained, if they just start having accidents out of nowhere, mm. that's one of the key, um, key markers for sexual abuse. As far as physical abuse goes, um, just a child who's scared to go home or scared to go to an after-school activity mm -hmm. because most kids know their abusers 80 to 90 percent of the time it's someone that they know uh, so. what should what should a person do if they suspect that there may be a child in you trouble you have to report mm -hmm. and whether you're a parent an educator or even just someone in the community you have to report do, do you have some thoughts for parents who feel like they've got their own rage issues or things like that help that they can get or support that they can look for um, sometimes it's not even, you know, parents who have rage issues. You know, I have a newborn at home, I get frustrated with him, mm -hmm. and I have to tell myself, you know, walk away. He, it's better than he cries than, you know, you shake him or, you know. Sure. And it happens, like your normal looking people or someone who mev maybe never has abused anyone before, you know, you get frustrated. And yeah. I think if you have a spouse or a partner, just kind of watching for those signs and helping out if you can and, you know, not being afraid to reach out for help if you're a new mom or, you know. A veteran mom too. All, all important thoughts um, from somebody who knows the topic very well, both as a teacher and a mom. Thanks for spending time with us this morning. My pleasure. Um, that's a, one of our great Indie Moms blog contributors. You can read all of the good thoughts that they have about topics like this and some of the lighter issues of the day. Again, and you can also call 1-800-4-A-CHILD. Again, 1-800-4-A-CHILD if you have any questions about child abuse, you want to report suspicious behavior, or you need access to resources as well. Drew? A difficult but critical conversation.